What is good with y'all today, man? It's Cole Brown Official, aka Base CBO, and today I will be talking about the dark side of hookup culture again around uh, playing the field, all that good stuff. Well, actually, I'm going to be talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly um, because I think for some people it could be a good thing, some people it, it's not for you. You know, I'm going to try to give y'all a really unbiased opinion and then I'm going to give y'all my perspective. So, first, we're going to talk about the cons, then, we're going to talk about the pros, then, I'm going to give y'all a little story time on why. I'm even talking about this and then a little conclusion. So the cons, we know the cons, man. STDs, babies. Um, I've heard people say, you know, they feel um, empty inside, uh, just a bad feeling after, you know, they have regret. They have a hard time finding a partner to connect with because they can't pair bond anymore and stuff like that. So that's all the stuff I heard and the pros, are you gonna gain confidence it's just like anything in life the more you do it the better you become at it so the more women i date the more i sleep around i'm better in bed i'm better at talking i'm better at just at any any situation with women i'm better at it you know so you no know, more confidence man you got to go through stuff you got the more you do something the better you get at it um and i've had a lot of great experiences i mean i don't went i don't have girls pay for a, a football game for me i don't been taken out to eat many times like it's been a good experience um i really like to get to know people i can observe people better now i can kind of look at someone and tell them what type of person they are quicker than i ever have so for me i have more pros than cons and not what you do is how you do it if you're smart about it if you're wrapping it up if you're not eating the cat if you're not eating the cakes you know if you're not going to the extremes and you're smart about it you're probably not going to catch anything. I know dudes that slept with over 100 women and they never caught a single STD or got a woman pregnant. So remember that. Be smart about it. If you're doing it, just move move right, man, because you can wreck your life over some coochie. But that's not to say I know a dude that... I know a dude that almost caught an STD from his girlfriend and he got her pregnant. You know, so just because you're in a relationship, sex is a risk. Whether you hooking up, whether you're in a relationship, it's still a risk at the end of the day, you know? So that's just what it is. And the reason I was talking about this because I worked out with two dudes at the gym and he was trying to say I have a penis brain that he can't take advice from me. And this dude's 17, he's still a virgin, which nothing wrong with that. I was a virgin at 17, but I was trying to give him some advice. You know, I was kind of telling him, just start talking to more women, you know. I said, you ain't got to sleep with them. He like, no, I couldn't take advice from you. You have a penis brain. Um, you know, and this kid, he was saying a lot of stuff that's not true. He's like, oh, if you keep sleeping around, you're going to have erectile dysfunction. And at that point, I knew he didn't know what he was talking about because I was like, no, if I don't sleep around, I'm probably going to have erectile dysfunction because I'm probably going to go to watching porn instead, you know. Because at the end of the day, we are men. We have to release. You know, you can do semen retention and uh, no fat for a while, but at a point, it's healthy to release. It's not healthy to hold your semen in for months and months on end. I don't care what these dudes say. Um, like I said, a lot of it is placebo. They see an increase of testosterone in seven days, it goes up and then it comes right back down. So it's normal, man. Um, having the urge to have sex is normal. And it was calling me weak-minded, but I'm like, it's not weak-minded. It's I understand I have a need, I'm a man. It's a need to have sex. That's what we were put on here. So we're gonna have that urge. So ideally you wanna sleep with more respectable women. You don't wanna just sleep with anybody, but sometimes it gets like that, you know? So have some type of standards when you're sleeping around. Don't just take the bottom of the barrel, girl, um, just cause you're desperate. You know, I still have standards. I still, no, for the most part, I sleep with women I know, you know, I don't, I don't, meet them on a first date, then hook them on a first date. Now I have, I'm not going to lie to y'all, but I tend not to do that, you know, because it's not as good. You know, I want some type of connection. But this man saying you're supposed to be in a committed relationship before you even consider having sex. And it's like, I'm, I'm surprised he has so much to say for a virgin. And it's not like he's a virgin by choice. He's a virgin because he wanted to sleep with his ex and she didn't want to sleep with him. And then when I dig deeper into it, his track record, um, he's just a simp, man. That's what it comes down to. He has no game. And this is a lot of issue with a lot of younger guys. They can't sit down and listen. We get so much information online. We all think we're smart. 
a lot of people have a hard time sitting down and like shutting up and just listening, you know, because I'm trying to game him up. I'm trying to give him some advice because the advice he's getting isn't good. Um, he was trying to date a woman that's going to another continent to go to college. And she ended it. She wanted to end the relationship. He wanted to stay in it. And it's like, dude, like, can you not see through the lines? She wants to get beat down by somebody else. She wants to get piped down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look between the lines, man. She doesn't mess with you like that. You're a placeholder boyfriend. And you can't see that because you don't have any experience. And you don't think you need to get any, any experience because you say, oh, that's penis brain thinking. Keep thinking like that, bud, but you're going to get screwed over. These are the type of dudes that get finessed with no experience. He like, oh, you're supposed to be working on yourself. You shouldn't be focused on women. I said, I never said I was focused on women. I grind every day. You know, I'm stacking money every day. I'm in the gym every day. But at the end of the day, I might lay with a with a bad one and have a good time with her. You know what I'm saying? And that improves. You need to improve every aspect of your life. All this, oh, you need to be stoic. You need to focus on yourself, build yourself up. Those are guys that get finessed. They work on themselves. They work on themselves. They make a lot of money. And their girl been running these streets. She gamed up. She gonna finesse that dude. She gonna finesse that dude because you lack experience. Because you would just focus on making money. You would just focus on a gym. You didn't have any experiences with women because you think the first woman you meet, you're gonna be able to marry. The first woman you meet, you think you're gonna be able to marry. You think she's gonna be solid. And this is how I operate. You know, so conclusion, it depends on you. I'm not telling y'all y'all need to go hook up with women, but you should either have three categories or you should have two categories. See me? When I'm dating, I have three categories. One, long term, uh, she meets all my all my standards. She got everything I want, man, and I'm pretty picky, so this is rare. Most women aren't gonna meet this. You know, this is long term. Maybe she can have my kids one day. Second box, this is what most women go into. We cool, I find her attractive, we have a good time, but she has bad habits or she has addictions that aren't fit for a mother. So I wanna take her serious. I wanna date her for long term. And then you got that last box. I'm not even messing with them. I'm not touching them. They too down, dirty. You still should have standards of women you sleep with, right? Or if you like this dude, you should have two boxes. You should have women you're talking to. You know, you're getting to meet. Um, they meet your standards. Maybe you don't want to have sex with them. If you like him, you don't want to have sex, whatever. I think it's a cope. I think he does want to have sex. He just doesn't know what he's doing. Um, so he, he insults people that do, <laughs> do have sex. But... This should be a box where you're talking to women, getting to know them. They meet your standards, and you should have a box of women you're not messing with at all. But you should still be talking to multiple women. And then they was going crazy when I say you should be talking to multiple women. But that's that's going to put you in the best situation because you can actually see a person for who they are. Because you have multiple girls, you see, okay, she's this, she's this. When she's by herself, we tend to think of somebody better than what they are. We look at them for what we want them to be rather than who they are. So we think, oh, she's such a good girl. She's all nice, she's all this. But really, she just hasn't had the opportunity to be in them streets, right? Just like his girl, she, she, gonna, she gonna go to uh, Europe and get ran through, I guarantee it. Cause why would she wanna go to college in another continent? She's trying to get ran through. She wants the whole experience and that experience different places, different activities, different pipes from different plumbers. You know, how it, you know, that's just how it is. So my conclusion is, man, do what you think is best for you, man. Uh, but just be safe, man. Because I see some dude, they sleep around and then they just completely like shit on hookup culture. Now, if men and women are different. I think it hurts women more just because the marketplace. If you're a dude, Women aren't going to write you off because you have a lot of bodies. But if you're a woman, a dude might write you off because you have too many bodies. That's just the reality of it. Um, I think women tend to catch feelings more in the hookup. So that's just, and if you meet up, the, the woman is more at risk. You know, she tends to be smaller. The man tends to be stronger. A lot of women get catfished and stuff like that. So you're still at dangers. And I think the risk is higher for women, you know. So just keep that in mind. But... I think you have to get some experience. And I'm not saying you gotta uh, go to the extreme. And I think a lot of dudes go to the extreme to impress their friends. They wanna run up that body count number so they can just brag and boast. But for me, it was never about that. I like meeting new people. And if it's, if we end up hooking up quickly, like it just is what it is, you know? I just make sure I'm smart about it. We have a good time. We do more than just have sex. And you know, he think I'm just thinking with my dick like Kevin Gates, you know? No, but it's like, 
I see good qualities in these women. It's just, I don't see them with me long term. It's more like situationships. And I've been doing this majority of my life and it's been working out well. Like I'm happy. Um, I have my sexual needs met. There's nothing wrong with it, you know? And I think I still can find a woman at the end of the tunnel because he was telling me like, oh, you're not gonna be able to find a woman to settle down with and stuff because you have a penis brain. And I know a uh, guy, shout out to Nemo, man. He slept around for his 20s and his early 30s, found a wife, and now he has a family. And he's committed to her, he's loyal to her because he, he slept with all them women and he can spot a good woman when he sees one. And he pretended like he didn't have money when he first met her, so he really got a quality woman that's there for him. Him sleeping around didn't disqualify him from her, right? Even though he pretended like he didn't have all this money. So a lot of these ideas this dude was spewing were just, um, I think a lot of it's just insecurity and hate. You know, I get it. And I asked him, is it a religious thing? He said, no. Like, if it's a religious thing, I completely understand. If you live by the book, I have a lot of respect for you. But for him, it's just, it just seemed like some hating stuff, bro. I'm going to keep it real. Like, you know, he like, oh, that's weak minded and all this stuff. And if you look at it, you can play both sides of it. You could call it weak minded because you're sleeping around. Or you could call it weak minded that you want to be with one woman for your whole life. It just depends on your perspective. Because if you look at some of the greatest men of all time, if you look at Kings, all of them were sleeping around. I mean, uh, Benjamin Franklin, he was sleeping around. Martin Luther King was known to have hoes. So we can't play this game like, <laughs> like that's so weak minded, but then you call it some of the greatest minds of all time, weak minded. So I think it just depends on how you like to spend your leisure time. If you like interacting with women, I see a lot of guys, they don't enjoy the whole process. They just want it, they just in it for a nut. They really don't like hanging out with women like that. If that's you, hookup culture probably not for you. Like I watched Jack and Stack's video and he said after he hooked up with a woman, he'll hop on a video game and like just ignore them. Like, of course you're gonna have some bad experience. Of course these girls are gonna try to do you dirty because as soon as you got what you wanted, you just left them high and dry. You know, you like, okay, I got my nut, let me hop on this game. So I still treat the women with respect um, we have a good time all the time, man, and that's just how it is. Like, if, if, now I'm not finna sleep with them overnight time or spend all my day with them and stuff like that. Like, I have stuff to do, but I wouldn't, like, kick a woman out to play a video game or just act like she's not there to play a video game or do something, like, that's not getting, moving the needle. Like, if I'm sending a woman home, it's because I got work to do, you know? Because I have something productive to do, not play a video game. So, I think it really just about how you do it. It's not what you do, it's how you do it, man. Um, if you move right, you shouldn't run into any issues. Be nice to these women, treat them with respect. Obviously, I'm not telling y'all to treat a hoe like a housewife, but still treat people with respect, you know, cause she's taking risk to meet you up. She taking risk when she come over there to get beat down, even if she is a dirty bride, she's still taking a risk cause she messes with you. So you should still show respect at the end of the day, make sure they get home, um, stuff like that, man. And that's gonna save you from getting me too and stuff like that. So I don't think, I think it really just depends on you, man. But for overall, for me, uh, sleeping around, having like rotation and stuff like that, it's been cool for me, man. I just say don't overdo it. Know your limits. Don't be trying to chase tail just to get these numbers going. Um, you know, know, know a healthy balance. Like a lot of times if I'm talking to multiple girls, a lot of times it's just two because anything more than two is just like overkill. But I feel like a lot of dudes try to do more just because their ego. Know who you are. Know what you want out of life, man. But don't think if your body count goes up, you disqualify yourself from other, uh, from a wife. Cause you could say the same thing on the other end. Um, some dudes commit to a woman early in their life and then they have this fear of missing out and they go and cheat on her. So his whole logic was just dumb. But yeah, man, it just really depends on you. Uh, be smart about it, man. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Uh, that's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to like the video if you haven't already want to follow me on instagram it's cole brown official keep grinding y'all keep growing stronger mind stronger body better life i'll catch y'all in the next one